Hi guys, welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Today, guess what? We are going to be giving you tips on online dating. You. <laughs> We will be giving you tips on how to find your partner on online dating. It's the little things that count, isn't it? Because have you thought about why out of thousands and millions of profiles on dating sites, some people get a bit fortunate and get to meet people quicker, Why others will stay there for longer time without meeting anyone. Have you thought about that question? Yes, I've also thought about that question and today we'll be giving you tips to increase your chances of getting to meet the right person. About the profile photos, choose a proper picture, uh, not too revealing, choose uh, a decent picture, look nice, look awesome, look and simple natural. and natural, Safety. even if you are a guy or if you are a girl, look simple who will like you and will want to get in contact with you will want and look for the simple you not the Photoshop one <laughs> to say like that <laughs> um, like we say we can't go wrong with pictures right first impression matters and in this case our first impression is in our profile pictures and also in our pictures on our profile and like they say first impression matters isn't it so our first impression while on online dating is our pictures yes you got that right our pictures we want to put pictures that shows how we are that tell people our personality for example you want to show a full picture of you like just to give people an idea of what your height is or what your body size is you also want to give a selfie picture of you just for them to have a, a better look on your face just to see what your face looks like because sometimes the distance picture don't really show much about your face and also you want to upload pictures in like different outfits you can upload pictures in like jeans like casual wear you can upload pictures of formal wear just to have a mixture of selfie full picture casual wear and formal wear <laughs> the second tips we are going to be giving is your about you section yes you got that right after you've created your profile and uploaded pictures the next important part of creating your online dating profile is investing some time in writing your about you section about you section is um picture it like you're going for an interview and they said can we meet you please or tell us about yourself please you're not just going to be give one line sentence are you of course not <laughs> you're going to be telling a more detailed like you're selling yourself so to speak make people want to get to know you write interesting things about yourself putting a bit of effort in writing let's take me for example I want to write that hi my name is Sinto I live in the UK I work in finance I like going out for walks I like exercising my favorite exercise is swimming I like cooking but my favorite meal is jello fries and chicken <laughs> I like going out to the movies and I like listening to podcasts my favorite podcast is bigger pockets I like reading books and my favorite book is rich dad poor dad by Robert Kiyosaki I like cooking my favorite meal is spicy jello fries I like it spicy I'm looking to settle down and I'm all here looking for a Christian man that is also looking to settle down and start a family when you give that short interesting description about yourself remember the category you've told us about what your name is you've told us where you live not like specific city just give like a country or yeah a country would do not specific fixed city remember you don't want to give out too much details you've told us your name you've told the first name in this instance is more than okay or if you have a nickname you want to use that's 
perfectly fine but ideally you want to keep it a little bit real so just give your first name you can say your name is rose like if rose is your name or rebecca if rebecca is your name you want to give your name you want to give your country where you live in you want to give what you do for work in this case remember i didn't go into too much detail about i work as a sales analyst or i work as an accountant no i just gave the industry you can say i work in in health i work in transportation just give the industry remember you want to make it as broad as vague as possible nothing too specific right and you also want to tell us about like your social life what you do in this case i've mentioned that i like reading i've mentioned that i like listening to podcasts and to make it a bit specific i've given to give them an idea of what kind of podcast interest me i've mentioned bigger pockets i've also written that i like food and just for them to have an idea is it chinese food is it european food is it african food not to keep them too much guessing i've mentioned that i like spicy jollof rice if you meet someone and i've also mentioned that i like sports and my favorite exercise is swimming in this case if someone that likes sports reads your profile to say oh, wow this girl likes swimming and there's also so i also like swimming that will bring conversation if someone that like listening to podcasts is viewing your profile and i've mentioned i like this podcast then i say oh wow why do you like that podcast it brings room for conversation and it also gives them an idea remember you're not there your, your profile is just selling yourself it's like an advert so once they read your profile you sound like interesting and they would most likely want to get to know you aside from people that just go and copy something online and paste when someone is reading a copied and paste profile they would know so try to put in a little bit of effort her profile was fielded so much simply but professional i don't know how to say proper she specify about few things about her as a as a person few things about her hobbies food her job what she loves to do and these things attract me so much having a proper profile straight pictures simply and perfect which make me to go ahead quickly and to start talking and messaging messaging her straight away and waiting for her to get an answer <laughs> <laughs> you've heard from the horse's mouth so it works <laughs> next section we will talk about it's what you are looking for right what you're looking for that's very important we've gone from creating your profile uploading pictures and giving a description about you now the next thing you're going to give a detailed description about is what you're looking for when i was still on online dating i can read a lot of pictures about men saying that they've had a vasectomy and they are not looking for to have children there are men that will say they are just looking for casual friends there are men that will say they are looking for something serious investing as much effort in writing what you're looking for we attract to you the right kind of men if you're looking to start a family don't be afraid to state it just state it the people looking for the same thing as you will message you people that don't want to be committed will say oh wow this lady is looking to be committed i don't want to let me skip and look for someone i can play with so it is very very important for you you to invest time in writing what you're looking for you hear that right you can write for example i'm looking for a christian man if you're religious like me who is ready to settle down and to start a family i'm looking for someone that is kind affectionate understanding and a bit of humor <laughs> So you can write nothing too detailed, nothing too um, high standard to meet, just something basic. But please include things that are important to you. For example, if getting married and having children is important to you, you can write that I'm looking for someone that is ready to get married and start a family. If your religion is important to you, you can include that you're looking for a, a Muslim man, a Christian man, a other religion, just be specific if you want someone that is religious because I know other things that cause conflict in a relationship is religion money those are some of the top things that cause conflict because when you meet when you're with someone that has a very extreme religion and wouldn't want to be understanding or compromise there will be conflicting um, when you're trying to practice your religion and when he's trying to practice your religion so if you want to avoid that conflict 
please state it that you're looking for the religion you prefer be simple in the description what uh, you are looking for be specific straight to the point don't be too much rigid try to be flexible the fourth tip is consistently uh, login right <laughs> You've listened to our story of how I wasn't logging in for several weeks and Gabriel was a bit miserable trying to, <laughs> trying to get my attention. So please don't be like me. Consistently log in. And there are some reasons why you need to consistently log in. One of them is that the online algorithm will rank your profile top the list. Because some people, when they're on online dating site, they filter by currently online. They, they are just searching for people that are online. So if you're not online, your profile wouldn't even make the list of people that would be suggested to them. Secondly, if you've been online recently, your profile will be ranked top the list for people saying, if you've not been online for several weeks your profile will be down the bottom so that's why when some people complain that i'm not meeting people i don't get messages it can be because you're not even logging in so that it's difficult for your profile to even be suggested because even if the uh, dating site suggests your profile and they send you a message you will not log in until three months later so the conversation won't even flow so they won't bother really the algorithm won't bother recommending your profile thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe Subscribe.